um, hardline Christian Republican operatives and conservative commentators, all Christian, are mounting a whispering campaign now against Khashoggi that's designed to protect Trump from criticism of the way he's handled this and also to shift responsibility. The Christians are doing this. Shift responsibility for this murder away from the Saudi royal family to somewhere else. Here's what it is. In recent days, a cadre of conservative House Republicans, all Christian, allied with Trump, has been privately exchanging articles from right-wing outlets, in other words, bullshit sources, that are trying to paint Khashoggi as a terrorist. Because decades ago, he was, when he was a journalist, he was an embedded reporter covering Osama bin Laden. This would mean that any of our people, journalists who covered the Vietnam War, were actually working for the Viet Cong. These fucking Christian conservatives, I wish all of them would disappear. I, I do. Rapture up to your shithole of a heaven. But why don't you leave why don't you leave us alone? Us normal people. This is according to four Republican officials involved in the discussions who were not authorized to speak publicly. Those charges, this dirty shit work that they are applying, the Christians are now applying to a dead journalist, have started to come up into public view, which, which is what the plan is. As conservative media outlets have amplified the claims, which are aimed at part, in part, at protecting Trump as he works to preserve his relationship with the Saudi fucking royal family. So they'll continue to buy weapons from the U.S. to murder more people in the Middle East and so that Trump's business arrangements with this fucking murder family won't be interrupted. So they're going to paint Khashoggi, a dead man, who was tortured to death over seven minutes before they finally injected him with God knows what. This is how filthy and degenerate the Christian religion has become. If they're not fucking children, they're doing this kind of shit. How did this happen? I'll tell you how it happened. The whole fucking religion is a bunch of bullshit to begin with. How long can you keep conning people before, about Christianity until it finally you finally realize that you have to turn the religion into something horrifying in order to continue to control people? And that's what these right-wing members of the U.S. House and Senate and U.S. media, these fascist Christian thugs are doing precisely I've seen this coming for years here it is and then there was what happened last night in Montana where this filthy son of a bitch Trump openly praised this creepy fucker Greg Gianforte remember he was the one who assaulted a reporter in his bid for Congress last year. That's what the statement from the American head of the Guardian newspaper, that's what he was talking about. Trump said in front of these screaming, fucked up Christian co-conspirators in the destruction of this country. All these white people, every fucking one of them, 
Trump said, quote, any guy that can do a body slam, he's my kind of, but he's my guy. End quote. This is the president of the United States. And a few hours earlier, the usual gang of fucking monsters from, from, from Fox, the Fox sewer, they had already begun their campaign. Fox News anchor Harris Faulkner on that filthy network's highly rated Thursday program, Outnumbered, said this, Khashoggi was tied to the Muslim Brotherhood. I just put it out there because it's in the constellation of things that are being talked about. Miss Faulkner then dismissed another guest who called her claim iffy. Iffy. And then on the campaign trail, this Corey Stewart, this filthy bastard who is challenging Tim Kaine for the, for the Senate seat in Virginia, Corey Stewart, who is a Klansman, he is an American Nazi. It's, it's so fucking right. The proof is all over the place. Corey Stewart said, quote, Khashoggi was not a good guy himself. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. At one time, Khashoggi was sympathetic to Islamist movements. Fuck, so was I. Anything to break the back of the crazy shit that was going on in the Middle East. And the Muslim Brotherhood appeared to be one of those organizations. But eventually he moved toward a more liberal, secular point of view according to experts in the Middle East who have tracked his career. Khashoggi knew bin Laden in the 80s and 90s during the civil war in Afghanistan. And these right-wing fuckwads, these Christian terrorists in this country, they don't remember the civil war in Afghanistan where it, all they're concerned about is going to heaven. Oh, but not dying. I don't want to die. And at the time, bin Laden was supported by the U.S. government because he was fighting against the Russians. These Christian fucks in this country, they don't care about the history. They'll pick little pieces of this off, like, like picking rotten meat off a corpse, and they'll feed each other that. Well, did you know that Khashoggi was around bin Laden back in the 80s and 90s? You rotten sons of bitches. He was there as a reporter. And the U.S. government was there too, supporting bin Laden. Last year, Khashoggi left Saudi Arabia and he was granted... I think, permanent residency in the U.S. And as you know, I lived in Virginia. I wrote for the Washington Post. Nevertheless, the Christian fascists in this country have really got themselves cranked up on this one. Donald Trump Jr., that little fucker, shared another person's tweet last week with his millions of followers that included a line that Khashoggi, quote, was tooling around Afghanistan with Osama bin Laden in the 1980s. Donald Trump Jr. is as ignorant as his father and a rotten little bastard who does nothing but this kind of stuff. Somebody should tell little Ronald Jr. or little uh, Don Donald Trump Jr. 
that U.S. authorities were tooling around Afghanistan with Osama bin Laden in the 1980s. The U.S. fucking military was tooling around with bin Laden in Afghanistan in the 1980s. But you try to tell that to this evil little fucking Donald Trump Jr.? He won't know what the hell you're talking about because of his ignorance. A Tuesday broadcast of CRTV, a conservative online outlet founded by talk radio host Mark Levin, another Jew, a Nazi Jew, labeled Khashoggi, quote, a longtime friend of terrorists and claimed with no fucking evidence, these Nazi fuckers, they don't need evidence. Mark Levin should hang his head in shame thinking about, I wonder how many of his people were wiped out by the same kind of propaganda bullshit that he's promoting now. Mark Levin, you're a fucking disgrace. You're a disgrace. Piece of shit. And then Levin goes on to claim that Trump is the victim of what Mark Levin calls an insane media conspiracy to tarnish him. And that broadcast, online podcast, wherever the fuck it is, has been viewed more than 500,000 times. A story in the far right front page magazine online casts Khashoggi as, quote, a cynical and manipulative apologist for Islamic terrorism, not the mythical martyr dissident whose disappearance the media has spent the worst part of a week raving about. These are Americans writing this shit who, while I believe in freedom of speech, should have their Fucking tongues cut out. This is not freedom of speech. This is verbal terrorism. This is media terrorism. This all comes as the Saudi government supporters on Twitter are trying to paint Khashoggi as a supporter of the Muslim Brotherhood. An Islamist movement once tolerated but now outlawed in Saudi Arabia as a terrorist organization. And that just, I mean, I just want to wet my pants over that one. The biggest perpetrator of terrorism on this planet right now is Saudi Arabia with U.S. backing. We and the Saudis are murdering who knows how many men, women, and children. It is the U.S. and Saudi Arabia that together represent the most vile, criminal, bloody terrorist organization on earth. And these fuckers say, or the Saudis say that the Muslim Brotherhood is a terror organization. Jesus fucking Christ. William Crystal that hypocritical prick who all of a sudden his, his brand of, of right-wing politics helped produce Trump. But he's outside the compound where it concerns Trump and has decided to be a Trump critic. Here's what he said. Trump wants to take a soft line, so Trump supporters are finding excuses for him to take that soft line. One of those excuses is attacking the person who was murdered. This is what these Christian fuckers do. This is what they do. They attack women. They attack immigrants. They attack children. Literally on that one. They attack liberals. They attack progressives. They attack everybody because they are so fucked, twisted, murderous, belligerent, belligerent. 